We're talking Pitts and area field hockey. The head coach, Kate Connors, with us. Uh, Kate, let's talk a little bit about this team this year, some success. So uh, what do you attribute that success to? So we've been working very hard in practice. Uh, coming into the season, we were a younger team. Uh, we did graduate a core group of seniors last year, so we were looking to fill a lot of those roles. Uh, we had a very successful preseason. We were able to move people around a little bit. Um, we have a lot of different players that are very versatile for us this year, so they're able to play different positions which has been super helpful for us. So we've had a lot of success offensive-wise, um, and our defense has been rock solid with our senior goalie. Let's talk about getting girls interested in growing the program. Just make sure, okay, hey, we have the numbers. Now we're going to start you know, fine-tuning and getting those skills up. So yeah. you know, where are you at number-wise with the program? Sure. So we are a little bit lower than usual this year. Um, we typically have a pretty big program and a JV program. Uh, this year we weren't able to have our JV program. Um, so we are doing an intramural program at Pitts Area. We're starting in second grade and we're running it through uh, eighth grade. So that's been running super strong with Coach K. She's one of our uh, junior high coaches. She's been running that twice a week. So we have a lot of interest in that. And it's been really great. And then we're going to transition to some winter things um, and also some spring intramurals as well. I've heard, you know, different coaches or different school districts saying, hey, we'd like to get like a youth volleyball program uh -huh. to grow that. But you know, you haven't heard that much. As strong as field hockey is in northeastern Pennsylvania, <laughs> you haven't heard much about programs for kids, you know, sure. uh, at the, the grade level and to I say, hey, let's let's try this. Yeah, and I think it's super important because a lot of kids aren't exposed to it until seventh grade um, when they're coming into the school program. So it's nice to get them some exposure prior to the school programs. Um, and I know the YMCA, we did a, a youth league with them throughout the summer, the Pittston YMCA, and we had some interest with that, so we ran that for a little bit so we'll be running something else with them too but it's nice to see it growing with the younger kids um, a lot of kids get involved in soccer young because there's so many youth soccer programs uh, but unless kids are playing travel there's not a ton of youth field hockey so we're trying to really grow it from the, the ground up let's talk about senior leadership uh, who are those leaders this year and what are they doing to try to keep this group together <laughs> yeah so we have um, Sam Thomas she's our senior goalkeeper uh, she's going on to the college level to play, so she's been a really uh, big asset for us. We have two captains, senior captains of Sharet, Nora Feldman, and we also have Jaden Jadis. Um, and then we have Madeline Kelby. Uh, she's one of our senior backs. So they've been doing a great job just kind of keeping the morale, team morale up. Um, it's a long season. You know, we start in the beginning of August. Uh, we're now kind of rolling for October, so we're with each other, you know, five, six days a week, so it's great to have that leadership to kind of keep everybody together as one unit. Take us back to your field hockey experience, uh, you know, what what it was like playing for you. Yeah, um, it was awesome. I So I actually started at Pitson area. Um, I was one of the first teams in Pitson area. So when Pitson started field hockey in seventh grade, I was on that team. Um, and I transitioned up through high school. Um, and then I went on to Susquehanna University and I played there. Um, and when I graduated, um, I'm a local chiropractor. So I went to chiropractic college and Charlie Turco reached out to me and said, hey, I have an interest in coaching. And I said, yeah, I, did. I just graduated. Um, so it's nice to kind of still be involved with the program. And and playing field hockey has always been a big part of my life. Um, it's always been something that was I was passionate about. I was lucky enough to play in college as well as play college softball. So um, I'm very big in athletics, and I think it's just a great thing for not only the athletic side, but also, you know, making friends and keeping um, contacts throughout the year. There's still some schools here in Northeast PA. It still just baffles my mind that field hockey is not a sport because yes. <laughs> there is just, there's still a good, uh, amount of money yeah. that is involved for these young ladies that they could go on Absolutely. and become bigger and better at a Division Three, Division Two, uh -huh. Division One. Um, talk a little bit about the rewards of seeing these girls take that step and like yourself, you know, yeah. chiropractor, but a coach, but somebody who may become a teacher or a biologist and use field hockey to kind of help them get yeah. there. So it's just, it's such a rewarding experience to be able to coach these girls um, and help them get to the next level. Uh, like you said, whether they're going Division, you know, three, two, one, um, having that scholarship opportunity and, you know, using it throughout their college career to help them fund something where they can go on to grad school and they can go on to, you know, medical school or law school, whatever they want to do. Um, but using field hockey as a, a team building um, part. And we always have those connections. Um, I have two other coaches who also play at the collegiate level. So it's great to just be able to reach out to other coaches and, you know, let them know, hey, we have a great group of girls here uh, that are on top of great athletes. They're good students and they're good people. Well, it's uh, good to hear about Pitts and area field hockey, and uh, we wish you the best the rest of October and possibly into November. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Thank you.